My name's Orlando and I'm the owner of CRE, Cool Runnings Engineering. So Cool Runnings Engineering uh, came about from my passion for cars and also water injection systems. The business is actually importing and being the reseller of Aquamus water injection systems. Uh, the name of the company is a bit of a play on words. You've got our uh, cool runnings to do with water injection and also the fact that my background's Jamaican. So this is an Audi S3. I met Nick, uh, the owner of this car, a few years ago and he found out that I was into water injection and he was planning on fitting it for this car. So after doing so, he contacted me to finish off the install and to do all the testing and set up prior to getting the car dyno tuned. This car has a fully built uh, two litre turbo. The engine was built by Integrated Engineering in the USA um, and sent out to Australia. Um, it's got everything that you can think of, uh, top to bottom, full house build. Um, it's running a Garrett GTX 3076 turbo. We've recently installed the Aquamist water injection system to complement the build. Aquamist was installed on this car because water injection allows you to run more timing and more boost. For this car, E85 was not an option, and so water injection was used instead to increase the horsepower. Water injection is also very cost effective. This setup was roughly $1,500 to purchase and install and will give you all the benefits of E85s without the drawback of E85. When this car came to us, it had a lot of the hardware already installed for the water injection system. Uh, so basically our job was to integrate the ECU with the Aquamist water injection control unit. Uh, so this car is set up with direct port injection. That means that each uh, cylinder has its own jet. Uh, this ensures for equal distribution uh, between the cylinders and also the water is injected directly into each cylinder where it has the most benefits. The Aquama system receives fuel injected duty cycle, fuel pump pressure and manifold pressure from the car's ECU. From there, it's able to calculate the precise amount of um, fluid required to be injected into each cylinder. The water mess system starts in the boot uh, with the tank and the pump. It goes into the car to the control unit and then into the engine bay where it's injected into the engine. So from this setup, we're expecting to make roughly 20% more power over what we currently have. So as it currently stands, the car makes 304 kilowatts.